Kamala. <laughs> Kamala. Kamala. Well, Kamala, Kamala. Harris. Kamala. Kamala la 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 la. Chameleon Kamala la la la. <laughs> well, I don't know. We're told like at least five times every time every we night. do it, every night that we don't say her name correct. And then the person doesn't say her name correct, which I find hilarious. Yep. But besides that fact, what has Kamala Harris been up to while victims in North Carolina, Tennessee, Florida have been struggling with Hurricane Helene's impact? Very simple. She decided to do two things, Fabian. Number one, she decided to go on a podcast, a very viral podcast, but not a Joe Rogan or Patrick Bed David or Sean Ryan type of podcast or the Breakaways podcast, which we always invite her to come on. She can come on. There's a seat right there. Right there. You're more than welcome to come anytime. She decided to go on a podcast called Call Her Daddy. And the type of stuff that they discuss on this podcast is like, you know, how do they give oral sex or how do they choose the man that they, you know, decide to do this with or whatever. So <laughs> this is the podcast that she decided to go on instead of, you know, she went down to certain places and visited the places, but she's currently the vice president. She should be probably coordinating with the Department of Transportation and probably FEMA <laughs> how to bring more resources to the area. Why aren't certain private uh, helicopters that aren't part of a verified vendor or part of the federal agency allowed to actually help in the yep. rescue mission or to bring at least resources to the area. Instead of doing all of that, she went on this podcast called Her Daddy. And I do have a clip that I want to play from there. So um, let's see. So first of all, before we play that clip, I just want to read um, what Colin said. So always Colin, he puts up the great tweets out there. He says, Kamala Harris's appearances on Call Her Daddy turns into a massive flop as the YouTube segment barely received 100,000 views. How many people watch Trump's Butler rally, by the way? Uh, so right now it's over a billion impressions. A billion impressions. Listen, a billion impressions. Kamala can't even get 100K views on what is considered to be one of the most viral podcasts. I believe it's number five, number three, most mm -hmm. viral podcasts in all categories. Um, so she wasn't able to get 100,000 uh, there. YouTube has 4.9 likes and 11,000 dislikes. So maybe this was a campaign by Trump supporters. But regardless, if you wanted to hear Kamala, you're a Gen Zer that loves Kamala. You went on there and uh, what, only 100,000 of you guys saw this stuff. So um, wow. why don't we roll this clip real quick? <laughs> the first comment on the YouTube in office. video. Go just like what is the first one? <laughs> it says, I grew up in a middle-class family that was unburdened by what has been because I have a theory about a theory that coconuts can be fermented. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man, that coconut comment's going to always hunt. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see this. I just, I mean, daddy gang, to put it in um, our TikTok terms, um, I have seen girls on the street walk up to men and be like, do you know where a tampon goes? Do you know how many tampons we use? Do you even know how, like, do you know what a X or Y or Z is of a part of our, and they don't know the answer. I was the first vice president or president to ever in office go to a reproductive health care clinic ever. Just, I mean, daddy gang. Some, put some it more word salad. What? <laughs> Her infamous word salad. But Fabian, um, I also want to pull up the New York Post. That is wild. I like. I don't even know what to say about that. And now, well, I mean, if you think about it, she's going on there for one specific reason only to get liberal women to go out and vote for her because that is her voting block. You have soy boys and you have the uh, liberal women. And obviously this podcast, I assume, is the vast majority of listeners are women obviously. So she's going there to make sure that these people, the Taylor Swifties go out and vote for her. You know, it's bad when your own fans who the, the way Alex Cooper started is that she was part of a podcast that was really popular on Barstool Sports. So imagine the people that were watching Barstool Sports, like her podcast on mm -hmm. there, they shifted when she got that great deal with Spotify, she, you know, dipped out, made her own show, call her daddy. Um, so the same people that probably were watching Barstool Sports podcast with her are probably watching her there, right? These people aren't probably your progressive people that love like political correctness and 80 billion pronouns and whatnot. Well, call her daddy fans are blasting Alex Cooper over Kamala Harris's interview. Feels like propaganda. 
Um, the Call Her Daddy host Alex Cooper enraged some of her fans over the weekend by dropping a surprise interview with Vice President Kamala Harris. The podcast Instagram account posted a teaser. However, some daddy gang members were not pleased with Harris' appearance on the show and flooded the post comment section to express their frustration and criticize the show for getting political. One of my most favorite podcasts, and now I, I'll never listen to it again. Unbelievable. <laughs> User commented. <laughs> yeah, this 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 comment on this video is wild. It says, "How to get it? How to answer questions like Kamala? Step one: re repeat question out loud. Step two: say the question is important. Step three: say you take the question seriously. Step four: try to make an analogy to your childhood. And step five: offer no solutions and don't ask to, and don't answer the question." The end. Sounds about right, Fabian. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. okay, so that's the first thing, right? So she went on this viral podcast called Her Daddy. I don't even know what she talked about. Let her sure. talk, though. The more she talks, the, the worse better. she is in the polls. I just literally got a text from my buddy saying that uh, Trump got a spike in polls after the Kamala Call Her Daddy interview. <laughs> so, I mean, let her let her go on more podcasts. Let her let her expose the world how how much of an imbecile she really is. I think let her out of the gates. Sure, go do these podcasts. Go talk about things that no one cares about, about being the first vice president or president that visited a reproductive center. Like, what does that even mean?